What's going on everybody and welcome to the RC Retro channel. Well, we're going to be talking a little low in this episode. I added another vintage stadium truck to my collection, specifically a low Triple XT Matt Francis Special Edition. Now, it took me a while to collect all the bits and pieces to put a full one together, but this is one hot looking stadium truck. I had my eye on it for quite some time and I'm glad I'm able to get all this and then add it to my collection. Now the first Triple XT was put out by Losi in 2000 I believe and they really put an emphasis on an easy to drive stadium truck. It was designed more so for the tracks that we have today, smooth, big jumps and from what I was reading on their website kind of like self-writing meaning like if you jump it and it lands and it comes down awkward. It was designed to self-write. And well, that made it even more appealing for me because I'm not the greatest driver. <laughs> Although the tracks that I run this on, um, the Deepwood Speedway doesn't really have any big jumps, but nonetheless, I think it'll fare very well on there. So before we even get to looking at the specifics on the Triple XT Matt Francis edition, let me give you a quick rundown of all the different, I guess, Triple XTs that came out from 2000 to roughly about 2006. So the first was obviously just called the Triple XT, and that was followed up with the Triple XT CR, which had the EA3 composite molded parts. Then came the Triple XT Matt Francis Special Edition, and then the Matt Francis II. These had the graphite parts, the red plastics, the red anodized aluminum pieces, which we're going to look at when we take a closer look at the one that I have here. That was followed up with the Triple XT Spec Edition, which had these cool blue tires. But from what I read online, they had a funky odor to them. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, smelt kind of weird. Don't know how true that is. Then there was a Triple XT Sport Ready to Run Edition. And then there was a Sport 2 Edition, which I think was brushless. Triple XT NT Nitro one. That's pretty cool. I'm not really into Nitro, but hey, they put out a Nitro version as well. Now, the Matt Francis edition came out in 2000, right after he won the national championships. And let's not forget, he won them again in 2001 as well. The MF1 was fully upgraded with all the bells and whistles. It included the graphite composite material for the chassis, shock towers, the front bulkhead, the kick plate, your rear pivot plate, your front and rear arms, the battery strap, and even the steering brace as well. It also included titanium turnbuckles, titanium nitride coated shocks, threaded shock bodies, a slipper clutch, and MIP CVDs. Also, it came with a whole bunch of really cool red molded stuff such as a bumper, a motor guard, body mounts, and wheels. Let's also not forget the really cool red anodized stuff on here as well, such as the motor plate and the front axles. Then of course there's the body, the Fury truck body, with the very large windows on the sides and in the front. This is a reproduction body put out by Boki, B-O-K-I, that I picked up off of eBay. Uh, it is painted in box art, as you can see. The red on the box art is a little bit more of your traditional red, whereas this is more along the lines of Iron Man red, uh, a darker ruby red with a little metallic in there, and I think it's awesome. This is painted by my friend, Colorado Larry. I sent this to him, and he did a phenomenal job with this. He's a big Losi guy, and he had no problem painting this up for me. He's on a few of these. Very, very talented, so thank you again, Larry. Now, everything you see here was collected over the course of a year. I first started off with getting the rolling chassis, which was shipped to me in this box over here. It's a little beat up and has a lot of wear, but then again, I don't collect boxes, I collect RCs. Having a nice box is a little perk if you're gonna display it, but I don't really have a lot of room to display my collection as I'm banished to my basement in this corner over here. Although, I'm in the process of redoing the other side of my basement over here, and I will be able to display my collection on a much grander scale, so stick around for that, that'll be sometime in the future, but I still don't have enough room to display all my boxes, which is why I'm not a box collector, right? I throw away most of my boxes. But this box I do like, even though it's a little beat up, because Losi always put out funky stuff in the 80s and the 90s, 
very colorful plastics and cool box art color schemes they used. And I really, really like the Matt Francis edition box art. Very cool. So I'm going to hold on to this box, even though it's a little beat up. But uh, the stadium truck was shipped to me in this box in pieces. Well, not really pieces, more like built in sections. So first we have your graphite chassis, which has very little wear on it. Just a few little scuffs right over here. Not really ran hard, I want to imagine. So that's awesome. Then you have your whole front end over here with just a little wear on your bumper. These do pop up from time to time on eBay, but when they do brand new, they're about $50, $60. They're rather expensive, of course, because you don't come across these red bumpers. And after all, it is the Matt Francis Special Edition. Okay, so that's cool. And then we have the whole rear end already assembled. Again, not much wear back here. Some scuffs over here. But again, this is a really good example of a Matt Francis edition, not mint, but I want to say in excellent condition. So I'm going to put those over here. Also, later on, I was able through my buddy Colorado Larry to get some used wheels and tires. Now the fronts have a lot of tread left on them. The rears are bald, so I'm going to use a little acetone fumes to take off the old tire save the wheel, put on different rear tires so I could run this. Yes, I am gonna run this. I'm gonna run it on the Deepwood Speedway. I'm gonna run it kinda light, um, but then I'm gonna shelf it after. I have to at least do one video with it in all of its glory running it out there before I retire it. But for when I do shelf it, I was able to get new rear and front red wheels. So check that out. How much did I spend on these? About a hundred bucks for this, a little bit on the pricey side. And through Colorado Larry, I was able to get new rear tires, new front tires, nice and smushy. They don't really smell like a tire, but they have a little bit of a rubber scent to them. I love to smell my tires. All right, and then he even threw in some Racer's Edge foams for the tires, so that was great. Uh, it was missing a battery retainer. I was able to source one of these online and was also missing some servo stays. I was able to get these online as well. And I was able to easily find these parts because, well, first off, this is packed by number 23, it even had the original packing in here. And 23 is my lucky number. So what a coincidence that is, right? But <laughs> with this also came the original manual and parts list. So. With that, I was able to source the exact number of the parts that I needed, that being the servo stay and the battery retainer, which made it a little bit easier online to find. So that was pretty cool. All right, so a lot of cool things here, a lot of good stuff. And now I'm gonna off camera put this all together and be right back to show you the finished product. We're gonna get some stickers on there. Yes, I don't have the original stickers, but I do have reproduction stickers from MCI, so I'm gonna throw those on there. And then we will have a all put together Triple XT Matt Francis edition. So I will be right back. Well, there you have it. The Triple XT Matt Francis Edition MF1 is done. It looks incredible. I have to say, this is such a cool looking stadium truck right here. Um, it's done for right now, that is. Uh, it's just a rolling chassis. There's no electronics in this. For right now, it's just gonna sit as the display, kind of like a shelf queen. But eventually, later on in the summer, I will get electronics fitted to this and get it out for some action. So that'll be a future video, but for right now, this is how it's gonna be. Um, just, I can't just get over how cool this is. It's, it's, it's very surreal when you see an RC 
um, on YouTube or on the pictures and you finally are able to edit your collection and get it all together and then it's boom right here in front of you. It just looks so cool. All right. Uh, put this together, gave it a quick wipe down, put new oil in the shocks. Um, going to get it fitted with electronics later on, going to give it a blast on the uh, Deepwood Speedway later on. So there'll be another video, like I already said. Something really cool that I want to share with all of you is that when I off camera was putting this together, looking at the original manual, the original owner wrote down here, built 10-23-2002. Now, earlier in the video, I said the person who packaged this in the original packaging and inspected it was number 23, and that's my lucky number. That's also my birthday, exact birthday, 10-23. October 23rd is my birthday. This was built in 2002. I turned 23 years old. So we have somebody packaging this, inspected by number 23. It was built on October 23rd, and I turned 23 years old that exact day. That's wild right there. I was just destined for a triple XT Matt Francis edition. I feel like there's like a special link to this stadium truck right over here. I don't know. Superstitious? Just coincidence? I don't know. Number 23 keeps popping up with this one. So, all right. Interesting. Thought I'd share that with you. Nothing really related to RC. But I just thought that was super cool. All right. So, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will check you all in my next. Take care now. Let's go, let's go.